everyone welcome to episode 4 of photo shoot where i show you posing ideas photo shoot ideas editing tips and tricks and lot more and in this episode i'll be showing you five creative and aesthetic editing tutorials that you can do on pixar so let's get started for this particular photo you'll have to take a piece of paper and cut it like this and then take a nice photo of it open the picture in pixart and choose a photo that you like and kind of play with the option here like crop the photo first and then rotate the photo as you like decrease the opacity and play with other options I would highly suggest you to go on adjustment tool and decrease the clarity, contrast, brightness, everything so that the actual picture goes with the background perfectly. First, I took my favorite highlighter from my closet and took a good photo of it. Then I selected the photo I wanted to add in this picture. Next, I decreased the opacity of the photo so that I could know where I want my picture to be, and then started erasing the excessive portion of this picture. And guess what? You are done. You will have to just increase the opacity, and you are done. That's how easy it was. For this edit, you will be needing two pictures placing your camera at the same place. I think this is the easiest of all but still you can be super creative with this like you can make a concept and then use this edit. So just take a photo and place it over another one and decrease the opacity and you are done but still it looks so nice and creative. For this edit, go to sticker and search for golden hour. You will find tons of sunlights and golden hour, you know, stickers. Then put this on your photo, decrease the opacity and click on multiply. You are done. For tell me I'm good. Hey, Diane, tell me that I'm good. I wanted to add something green in this picture so I randomly search for green. You can search anything you want like vintage, retro, aesthetic, green aesthetic, anything you want. So I randomly clicked on this particular sticker and put it over my picture and decrease the opacity as always then clicked on multiply and clicked on the tool erase and then just start erasing or you can just click on background. And that's it. So that's it for today's video. I hope you have find this video helpful. If you try any of these, do not forget to tag me on Instagram with the hashtag #clickwithmarisha. Comment down below if you want more tutorials like this. I would love to do so. Until my next video, stay tuned. Bye.